are back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. I just dropped this mic and it's banged up a little bit. My $800 fucking mic. So I hope it's still working. So it's that time of the year again where everyone's Spotify results come in. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who treats this podcast like it's a fucking round of shots at the bar and just fucking hammers it. Some of you have some serious issues that this podcast is not going to be able to fix. Like if you're listening to over 10,000 minutes of this podcast, I love you for it. Don't stop listening, but also maybe try and squeeze in a few therapy sessions. You know, just make a little bit of extra time to work on yourself. Some of you really put a lot of work in this year. We spent a lot of time together. Just me and you. We've got a weird fucking relationship, me and you. But, you know, it seems to work. So I really want to say thank you to everyone that listens. It keeps me going. Your messages, all that bullshit. Without you all, I'd have fucking nothing. So I appreciate it. And by the way, who else would you want to have as your number one podcaster? I fucking reply to every message. No matter how fucking inconvenient, no matter how fucking stupid the question, I always reply. Is Joe Rogan going to fucking reply to you? I don't think so. He's not even going to look at you. He's blocking your comments like I will if I ever get as big as him. Is the armchair expert fucking messaging you saying thank you for posting that on fucking Instagram? No, he's not. He's banging his hot Hollywood wife on a fucking king size bed made out of fucking hundred dollar notes. He doesn't care about you and neither would I if I was in his position, but I'm not. I'm just a guy with a microphone in a room in my underwear. That's all I am. I am salt of the fucking earth. I just want to get big enough for people to go, he's so humble. (laughs) That's it. That's my life goal. I just want to go out and meet people and for them to say, he hasn't changed a bit. Money and success hasn't changed him at all. Right now I'm humble because I have to be. I'm humble because most of you have more followers than me. That's the only reason I'm humble now, because if I wasn't humble now, people would be like, fuck this cunt. He hasn't even got as many followers as my friend's sister Chantal, who pops a titty every now and then. This is forced humbleness. This doesn't mean anything. I want to get to the point where it means something, where I have a reason not to be humble, but I remain humble. Success didn't change him at all. He reached 5,000 followers on Instagram. Didn't change at all. Every now and then, one of you will message me and get excited that I reply. (laughs) It's so fucking weird. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe you replied. I'm like, I was a fucking crane driver 20 minutes ago. I will be replying to fucking everything as long as I can if it keeps me out of the fucking crane. And if it ever gets too much for me to reply myself, I'm just hiring a fucking Indian and he can reply in whatever the fuck language he wants to reply. You'll be getting something. But yeah, thank you very much for fucking listening. Hanging in there with me. We're growing together. Some of you really are not growing. Some of you are going backwards rapidly. But anyway, enough of that. Let's move on to the main topic of tonight. It's that time of the month again. It is Patreon fucking payout time. And you cunts have fucked me again. This time, fucking 17 of you maggots fucking... (laughs) Couldn't fucking scrape together a fucking pint. Yesterday, I was on 199 patrons. I was one away from having to fulfill my fucking promise that I would start an hour podcast, which I'm starting to fucking regret. But I was one away from that. I was on 199. And then today, 1st of December, payout day, 180. 180 patrons. A couple of you sent me a message saying, hey, sorry, this week I actually can't afford it, which is a concern itself. But the rest of you, there's some fucking names on that list that I'm not happy with. This is why the mafia has standover men. You need to break a few fucking kneecaps to get eight bucks around here. You need to smash a few fucking hands with a hammer to get a fucking drink. So we're going to go through this again. And we're going to go through this every month until you can't sort your fucking shit out. You've got 24 hours to fix that shit before I start sending out some fucking emails. That doesn't really sound scary, does it? Before I start smashing some fucking hands. All right? Fucking check your credit card, sort it out. That'll do for tonight. 
If you're enjoying the podcast, share it around with your friends. That's the only way I'm going to reach my life goal of being humble. Word of mouth, baby. That's the only way. And I will. I promise to stay humble. Anyway, that's it for tonight. And I'll see you the fuck later.